Hey there, welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. We are going to be looking into the fifth Colossus today. Something about a misty lake, something, something. I'm really worried about this one. Yeah, flying? I feel like that just adds a whole new element that I don't think I'm really ready for. But I guess we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. This way. So similar to last time, last time it was over there, this time... Oh my god, wait. Misty Lake, right? Please don't tell me it's that place I went to last time. Oh my god. That would actually be doubly bad because... It's not even flat land plus a flying creature. It's a flying creature plus water. And uh, you know, the sky and the lake, water, water bodies... Neither of those places are really places that humans belong on. So that's, that's pretty worrying. What is this? Oh. Wow, I never even looked at this side of the building before, but it's so... It's like completely broken. Huh. Yeah, it does seem like it's over there, doesn't it? Oh god. Well, we'll walk around a little bit first because we gotta have our usual 20 minute lizard hunting session first, right? <laughs> Maybe this time we'll go a little bit to the side here. I don't know if we want to cross the bridge though. Let's have a look. On the back side of this building. Yeah. It's been around for a while. Ooh. Oh no, that's just a thing special here. That's the bridge that we came in through. Is there one more new beam of light over there now? I don't quite see it, but I imagine it's, uh, is it this one? I don't know. What does that even mean? Is something bad gonna happen if we kill all 16 of them? Seems like it. I don't really want to think about it that much. It's really kind of disturbing because this land it seems like everybody's just been... It almost seems like time is frozen here because the Colossi, the vast majority of them have been sleeping while we approach them. So they've been like that for like, I don't know, hundreds of years. And then suddenly, this boy comes out of nowhere and provokes them. So that's really sad when you think about it like that, isn't it? Yeah, it's over there, isn't it? Um... Hmm. I do want to look around a little bit more though. So maybe this time... Do we want to... Hmm. How do I zoom in? There we go. Maybe we'll cross the bridge and look around a little bit. Just to see what's going on in the other places. Yeah. Okay. We'll cross. We'll cross. There's actually no... Yeah, they give you guidance towards which... Holy jeez. Yeah. You, you steer, aggro. They give you some guidance as to where, like, which colossus you should be fighting. But other than that, you can pretty much go anywhere in the lands you want, huh? That's... I guess that's a good thing? Whoa, 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 aggro! I didn't do anything just now and it... and it turned around. Yeah. This way. And we see a shrine over there, so... Yeah, there is our daily lizard hunting session fulfilled. I also see another one in the distance, so maybe we can get that one too. Okay. More lizards. Speaking of flying things though, if we're meeting a flying colossus this time, a couple of you have mentioned that... Oh, I see the... I see it already. Let me just get off first. A couple of you mentioned that I can interact with the birds. So maybe... Uh, like last time, when the... God, wait... Are you dead? So last time, when that hawk thingy came near me, I could have interacted with it, but I didn't know at the time. So if that ever happens again, or maybe we even want to try to make it happen on purpose, I'm gonna be on the lookout for it. Here? I'm hoping it died. I actually didn't confirm it yet. Hold on. Where do I get up on? This side. Over here. 
Oh, it's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, oh, you're not- oh, okay, that's- that's wonderful. Probably a better idea for me to come down again first. Are you dead now? Ugh. Oh, I heard its death cry. But it's good for me, apparently, so... I'm just gonna kill you mercilessly. Might as well pray here. Thank you, thank you. And that's goal accomplished, right here. Oh, no, that's not I... Yeah, it's over there. I bet it's that lake place that I was at before, but I didn't, um... Guess I went there a little too early, huh? Oh well, that's fine. Alright, aggro. Since we're here anyway, let's go grab that shrine that's also in the distance over there that I can see. Is there a quicker way to get aggro to run a little faster? Like the initial startup part seems a little slow. Now that we know that we can use aggro as a height enhancing thing, I wonder if I should be practicing using aggro a little bit more. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> Hold on. That's not a shrine. That's just a random rock. And we can't get past this area, so that's... <laughs> okay. Alright. I wonder if we can actually get back up onto that bridge. The bridge that we came on through. Oh no, we can't, because um, it's sealed on that end. Right. Oh. Maybe it'll be a short trip today, looking around. Because there just isn't too much around this area, is there? Is there a ravine here, or... No, it's back to being the desert again. Oh, actually, can I get across this way? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Is there anything worth seeing that I can see within the... Within distance here? There's some rocks, but, uh... Nothing really catching my eye terribly right now. There's some rocks. Is that a shrine? No. Oh. oh, there is one right here. Okay, if we can come across at least two shrines every time, then I feel like maybe... Yeah, that's pretty good because we're constantly increasing our stamina and whatnot. And God knows I need all the help I can get. <laughs> oh God, I'm, I'm really worried about this one, okay? Like this whole flying colossus deal here. your head. Oh god, did you see that just now? Oh, maybe that was a glitch. It kind of flew all over the place. Here. That's not really hitting it, but it just kind of scares it. Ah! I gotta get closer if I want to actually hit it. Hey, there's actually some like vegetation around here. Some... Hawaiian palm tree looking trees. Must have gone at that time. <laughs> it feels like I'm cooking up some weird delicacies from my hometown or something. Why am I randomly eating lizard tails out in the open? Kind of strange. I assume I'm eating them. I'm eating them, right? I'm not just like putting it in my pocket and storing it forever. Wow, we're actually really far away from where we're supposed to be, aren't we? Yeah. Oh. The lands look kind of big, but there's also a lot of water everywhere. Well, okay. I think that's probably enough bumbling around for today. That's where the third colossus was. That circle area in the middle. It looks big. But because we have aggro, traveling around here is not, um, the distances aren't too extreme. 
We can probably get from one end of the world to the other end within maybe five minutes if we ride aggro non-stop. This bridge right here. I don't know. Everything about the lands here is just so mysterious. And we don't get much explanation for anything either. So where did we even hear about this? Oh yeah, from the guy in the beginning. Dorman. I was wondering where we got this information that killing the Colossus would be able to bring back my girlfriend, sister, important person. Dorman. Isn't that really close to the French word for sleep or something? I don't know if that's related though. Is he a Colossus? Because it would sort of make sense because, you know, Colossus sleeping. But I don't know, maybe that's a stretch. Have we been to this one before? Where are we now? Oh, uh... Wait, have we been to that one? Uh... Check it out, check it out. Actually, I wouldn't even know if I've ever been to it before, huh? There's not really an indication, aside from the fact that there's no... There should be no lizard here. Uh-oh. I don't actually remember if I've been here before. Have I? The bridge... Yeah, we crossed the bridge. This is probably the first shrine we saw after we came across the bridge. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no! I was wrong! I was wrong! Apparently we haven't been here yet. Somehow. Oh, it's because we didn't cross the bridge to get here. We walked around and, um, yeah, we didn't... We didn't use the bridge. Okay, even better then. That's three lizard tails this time. Lots of praying. Pray for my success. Although, I kind of feel like the bad guy here, so I don't think anyone's actually praying for my success. Oh. Would the person you're saving even want you to save them? Do we know anything about anything? Oh wow, look at the tower from here. Wow. Kind of looks like a staircase. Maybe it only looks like that because it's kind of partially broken down now. Yeah. Alright, Agro. Let's get back. Oh no, we did use the bridge, didn't we? But then that would have meant that we already were at that shrine. Can there be more than one lizard at a shrine? Maybe that's why. But that seems so... That seems a little bit unbalanced, right? Because they, they do do good stuff, so if there's more than one at a single shrine. Well, whatever. I walked away with three lizard tails, so that's, that's really all I care about. <laughs> my god, everything looks the same here and it's all barren. I'm getting mixed up in my head. It's not good. <laughs> Let me just make sure that this is actually where we're going here. Got the wrong thing out. Yeah, I, I think it is. Very close to it. Maybe? I hope so. I hope it is. For my sake. Although, you know, I don't actually want to be back here or anything, but... <laughs> well, it's still a good thing that we came here earlier because the fruit trees... Yeah, the fruit trees were a great help. Oh, it's totally there. Oh my god. <sighs> Are we ready for this? Do I want to pray at the shrine? Apparently it's a save point, so maybe I should be saving here just before fighting it, because... <laughs> what if I die? What if I die? I don't know. I think, um... The difference between normal mode and hard mode, when I was looking it up... Some... I think I read that, um... Basically, the damage is more realistic too, so... Like in the second Colossus, there was a part where I got stomped on, and when I was on normal mode, basically I just lost health. But if I was on hard mode, and it stomped on me... Because when you get stomped on in real life, you would probably die, then you would actually die in hard mode. So the, the damage dealing is more realistic that way. That's what I've read anyway. I don't actually 
have a way to confirm any of that. Yeah, there's some little lizards in the grass fields here too, but I don't think they are entirely necessary. There's so many of them. Haven't seen a whole lot of birds around here though, so we'll be on the lookout for those later on. Okay, it's very, very cloudy here. <sighs> what if I'm making a mistake again? What if it's not here? Well, if it's here, it should be making that cutscene thingy as soon as I get close to it. Uh, guess we'll have to swim across and find out. Oh god. Is there actually a way for me to swim a little faster? As far as I can tell, not really. I can dive under. This actually might be a good thing to know because if I'm on the water and the Colossus I'm assuming it's going to be like a bird-like thing. If the Colossus tries to attack me, then I can dive underwater and avoid it, right? So that might be a that might be a crucial thing to know here. Oh god, just thinking about this, being in the water plus a flying Colossus. Isn't that a little bit too much for the fifth Colossus? There's there's still 11 more. Oh my god. Okay, plenty of fur on its back. Oh jeez, but the fur! The fur doesn't extend all the way out onto its wings. That's really bad. Because how the heck are we gonna get onto the... Jesus Christ. So earlier I mentioned that most of the Colossus that we've come across so far, they seem to be completely stationary before we start the fight. But this guy, he flew from somewhere. Just like the first Colossus too, when we got to the top of the hill, it was already moving. I'm not sure if I just kind of provoked it or... I don't even... Okay. Okay. Oh jeez. Let me, let me just... I'm just trying to have a think here. If it's all water around us, there are some buildings, and we know that there's tunnels in between the buildings that we can hide in. But other than that, <laughs> this looks bad. Because I don't know how else you would. <laughs> we need land when we're in the water. Okay, look, when I'm in the water, I can't use my sword, I can't use my bow. That's not. That's really not ideal. So I think even more so than the other Colossi this time, getting on top of it, getting onto the Colossus itself is going to be a big task. Mm -hmm. Jeez, just look at how slow I swim here. Do I swim a little faster when I'm diving? Hard to tell. I hope so. It also takes away my stamina though, so I should be careful about that. Okay, so, so far, it, uh, ooh! Do you think I could climb onto its tail? No, that's a little too high, isn't it? Can I climb onto this thing? No. When I was here last time, I already tried climbing on all these buildings. You see nothing. You see nothing. It's totally looking at me. Holy god, I gotta hide behind a building or something. I know I'm low on health, or uh, oxygen. <laughs> I think it has my attention already, or uh, I have its attention. I just want to see what's going on. Oh, these camera angles. Yeah, it's totally looking at me already. 
Oh, we can stand here. If we're not even standing on land, we can't use a bow or an, or an arrow. Or a sword. Okay. Yeah, the tail might be a good way to climb up, but I honestly don't think... Even if we swam right up to it, I don't think we'd be able to make it up. Because we don't even have aggro this time. And we're in the water. So I guess I'll just take Dorman's advice and, um... Oh god. Maybe just on the wing? Don't piss it off too much? It actually takes away its health a little bit. Okay. Okay. If I can't reach it, it can reach me. Maybe that's my plan here, because I honestly can't reach it. The only way I can get up onto it is if I fall down onto it from above, which, to be honest, is probably not happening here. Or if it swoops down on me. So if you wanna... Oh, I feel very uncomfortable like this. Whoa! Even the surface of the water... Holy god. Yes. Some people have been suggesting to turn off the hints as well. I like having the hints, but I do think they appear a little bit too fast, especially because I take a long time just to talk it out sometimes. So I wish they would appear a little less frequently, but I also don't want to get rid of them completely. Okay, I can't even see it well enough to see what points it has that I can actually stand on. It's very angry at me, though. What if it just grabs me? I feel like that's totally okay. If you grab me, that's a chance for me to grab onto you. Goes both ways. There's my chance! Whoa! Now we really gotta be careful of our stamina here. Which I'm having a lot of trouble doing because I can't even... Let's get onto a, like, a flatter surface on its back first. Okay. Preliminarily, I do like that it's also a... Like, it has a big back, which is great for... Okay, I can't let go right now. I... <laughs> it's great for balancing, though, having a big back. I gotta switch to my sword so I can see the points. I haven't scanned anything at all. Do you wanna... Oh! Oh, okay. Stamina, very, very important here. Nothing on its head. Do we want to check out the wing? Yes! Oh god, I... Okay. Holy god, what is... Ooh. It's very easy to forget what sort of, like, gravitational hole is happening right now, like which direction I'm facing, because we're so high up in the sky, and this thing can basically flip upside down, and I wouldn't even notice. Good start, though. Yeah, see, if I'm upside down here, I can't... I can't do much. Oh, God. Okay, stamina, not doing okay. Stamina's not doing okay. But I, I can't, like, go like this. Okay, maybe a little bit. Shit! I really want to prioritize being careful here, so I'm trying to like... Oh god. I can't stand up like this! I'm gonna have to let go a little bit. Oh. Oh, maybe I'm... Oh, Jesus! Oh, shit. Shit! Shit! Oh! Okay. Maybe it's a good thing that I'm in water, because if it's land... I would be dead. Whoa, what is that? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Do I, should I pick it up? I didn't try interacting with it. What is it? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Dang it. Okay, well, same deal, right? It's probably still angry with me, though, so... Okay. I think this is a little bit easier than I was expecting it to be. Not because I think, oh, you know, I'm so good and it's so easy. 
but because in my head I was just I couldn't wrap around how I would actually interact with a flying beast in a way that would actually allow me to get close to killing it at all. But now that we see how it works, okay. I mean, at least there's some there's some methods here. Oh shit! Oh, missed my chance. Just trying to switch my bow and arrow out. We're okay though. We're okay. Missed the fur portion. Maybe I'm not standing on the right one. Like standing on this one would be more. Oh, I'm missing the chance again. Here we are. Okay. I feel like I'm so scared of the gravitation problems. <laughs> oh my god. This one is so flexible. It's wings. Okay. Less admiring, more thinking, more thinking. Uh. Oh, whoa! Did that one pretty narrowly. Oh, but we can also... No, we can't. The ridge, it's preventing me from moving over. Gotta just... I know this is the... It's not the wing that we started with. But I'm just gonna have to take what we can get. <laughs> so far, one point on each wing, and then maybe one more near the head? Not sure yet at this point. Stamina problems. My stamina problems. The wing portion here, holy jeez, it's so volatile. Okay. It's actually fairly stable here. Yeah. It's just that immediately after the stab, it goes... Well, it's in pain, right? It's in pain, so that's why it's moving so much. God. Get back to the center portion, at least. Oh, maybe there's one on its tail, too. But we're gonna go investigate after, after getting the one on the other wing. Wait, is it gone? I don't see it anymore. Uh, I'm holding the sword right now, right? Yeah, I am. No, it's here. It's here. I just have to get closer. Since it goes ballistic after we stab it each time, maybe getting in bigger stabs is the ideal way here. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. No, no, no! Oh! Fuck! I thought we would be able to stand on it, but, uh... Too much wishful thinking. Let's find a platform quick. Can you imagine what kind of a hawk eye this thing must have? I'm puny! And yet, it can still see me in the water. Alright. Let's get back up. I can't imagine doing this with even less stamina, holy crap. I'm really glad we went around and picked up some lizards and... What's the other thing? Fruits? Okay, fruits? Um, hmm. So far, I don't think we've actually been hit by too many colossi. The biggest damage dealer so far has been the, um, the third colossus. But everyone else has been... I guess it's because they're too big. And they move too slowly, so unless if I'm really not paying attention, then usually, usually, you don't get hit. My relationship with the Colossus is kind of like a mouse and an elephant. <laughs> I'm small, but as the word spreads around to the other Colossi, Hey, have you guys heard about this human who's been killing our friends and family recently? Maybe they will fear me a little bit. It's angry. Am I on the right thing? You know what? If I was any good, I could probably actually stand on the correct platform to aim myself at the... Hey, where is it? To aim at the... right at the sigil. 
but I'm not that good, so I'm not gonna try that trick out. <laughs> I think both spots on the wings are gone now, so we just have to find whatever the last spot is, which I'm guessing might be on the tail. Oh, I thought I fell again. It's like it knows I'm here, so it's slanting it, so I can't... God, I'm... Okay, what are you planning on doing right now? I feel not good about just walking. Okay, now, now. There we go. Hurry. Is this gonna be it? Oh. Wow, that death is even more than usual. More tragic. The way it just plunged into the sea like that. Hold on. Do I have to walk out of here myself this time? Maybe it's waiting for me. Oh! Is it coming over? Hey, it actually takes my health away a little bit. The moment it hits me, my health bar appears, so I assume that means I took damage. I heard something just now. Person's voice? I was just wondering where you were. Five down now. If I remember from the beginning correctly, the Colossi represent the idol, but they're not the idol itself, right? Because the idols are immortal and cannot be defeated. So I guess the Colossi are kind of like a mortal representation of an idol. But an idol is something that people... people worship and pray to. And we're killing idols? We're killing gods? Somebody out there, some civilization out there, they erected this temple to bring praise to the gods. And now we're slaying them. What's that all about? Just because I want to bring back this important person? It's like they had a designated spot for a dead body right here to begin with. <laughs> well, that was our fifth Colossus. Mm, I think overall, it went okay. It would have been great if we didn't fall down even once, but um, judging by how that thing was flying all over the place, that probably 
was pretty hard. <laughs> One thing that I would have liked to see a little bit more is where we were actually going while we were on the bird. Because you know how I'm so small and the, the Colossus is so big. And when I'm on the bird, I'm just so focused on trying to kill it. Well, you know what? It's because it's not a freaking tourist attraction. That's why. I was going to say, I wish I could see the vantage points a little more. But yeah, it's, it's not a trip here, man. We're not here for fun. We are slaying gods. Oh yeah, you know what? That sparkly thing. What the heck was that? The thing that we got the first time we fell off. I didn't see it do anything to my stats, my health and stamina, but maybe I'll have to review the footage again. Well, when we come back, we will look for the sixth colossus, the giant sleeping beneath a temple. See you soon!